What's up everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the top mistakes that you can make when trying to wholesale real estate. The reason I'm making this video is so that way you can avoid these mistakes and have the most success possible wholesaling real estate. So make sure you stick around to the very end of the video so you can have the most success when trying to wholesale real estate. Also, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you go down below, hit the red button and subscribe to the channel. It helps me reach more people and impact more lives. So I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe. Other than that, let's get right into the video. All right, so let's talk about the biggest mistakes that you can make when wholesaling real estate. Number one is underestimating how much work it's going to take. Wholesaling real estate, finding a deal, talking to motivated sellers in order to source that deal and find it, doing marketing, searching all over for your opportunity that's gonna get you that first deal is very time consuming. It is very hard. And unfortunately, if you make the mistake of underestimating how much work it's going to take, you will not put in enough hard work, therefore you will never get a deal. A lot of people think it looks easy to wholesale real estate. You get a property under contract, you find a buyer that wants to buy that deal, you assign your contract to them, you make an assignment fee. Easy money, quick, just flipping paperwork, you don't have to buy the house, whatever, whatever. It sounds simple, right? Well, the concept of wholesaling real estate is simple and easy to understand, but when it comes to actually getting a deal, it takes a ton of brute force, hard work, and consistent effort. If you are willing to put that brute force in, if you are willing to put those consistent efforts in, you will have success. So please, don't make the first mistake of underestimating how much work it's actually gonna take and actually do your best to chase after success in wholesaling real estate by putting in the work that is needed. So now that we've covered the common misconception of how hard it is or how easy it is to wholesale that people make a big mistake on, let's talk about the biggest mistake that I made when I got my first deal. When I got my first deal, I sold it to a buyer and I had it lined up for a $30,000 assignment fee. I sold it on an assignment contract. Unfortunately, in my assignment contract, I didn't put no further assignments allowed. What this did was it allowed my buyer to go ahead and reassign that contract, daisy chain the deal, and resell it to somebody else. My buyer resold it, he made $25,000. Then it got resold five more times, totaling $45,000 more than what I was making on the deal. I was only making $30,000 and it got sold for around $90,000 in total assignment fees. So I lost out on over $45,000 on my first deal because I made the one simple mistake of not putting in my assignment contract no further assignments. Make sure when you assign a deal, put in your contract no further assignments if you don't want them to be able to reassign the deal. Now let's talk about a common mistake that people make with cold calling marketing. A common mistake that people make when they're doing cold calling marketing is not refreshing their phone numbers that you're dialing out with. That's a big problem because your phone numbers are gonna be marked as scam likely very quickly because you're making so many phone calls on a dialer. So you definitely need to have your phone numbers auto rotating and refreshing every week or, or as frequently as possible so that way new numbers are used to outbound dial so that way you have a good connection rate. If you're constantly calling with scam likely, you're gonna have so many less people pick up the phone and that means you're gonna get less deals. So make sure you are refreshing your numbers when you are cold calling marketing. Another mistake that people make with cold calling marketing is not refreshing their data. Every six to 12 months, you wanna pull out all your data from the dialer and re-put it all back in. Because when you disposition the leads in the dialer as different things like not interested, do not call, or, or not available and whatnot, the dialer isn't gonna call those back. So you need to pull your data out, put it back in and refresh it so that way you hit all your data again. You wanna constantly re-hit your data. Some people think that once you call through a list once, it's over, but that's not the case and that's a mistake a lot of people make. You wanna flip these lists, these motivated seller lists over and over again. We call lists hundreds and hundreds of times. There isn't new properties out there that constantly are getting built. There isn't new phone numbers constantly. There isn't new sellers constantly. Yes, you need to refresh your data every couple of years, rebuy data, but you need to recall that data because it's the same people out there, just their situation is gonna change. Call them a different a, a year from now, and maybe they wanna sell now, but they didn't today. So you gotta to refresh that data and call it. Those are mistakes that people make with cold calling. 
Now that we're talking about cold calling marketing, let's talk about one of the biggest mistakes that new people in wholesaling real estate make, and that is hand dialing homeowners with their cell phone, actually typing in the phone numbers one by one on their phone. That is not the way to do it. If you're gonna do cold calling marketing, it's a hundred and some dollars a month to get a dialer, and there's a link in the description for a discount on the dialer that I use, but you cannot be hand dialing homeowners. This is a mistake that beginners make. You need to get a dialer. What a dialer does is it calls 10 people at once and feeds you the people that answer, so that way you're not wasting your time you know, uh, trying to get somebody to pick up the phone. You're constantly gonna be talking to people. Getting a dialer is so beneficial. Don't make the mistake of trying to hand dial homeowners. Another common mistake that I see new wholesalers make is they use the wrong contracts. They use a contract that doesn't let them cancel at any time, and this can cause them to have to lose earnest money or get stuck in the deal. So I wanna make sure you're using the right contracts when you acquire these deals and when you sell them so that way you are you know, doing the right things. So make sure you go download my purchase contract, my assignment contract, and you get a script with it, a cold calling script with it at jacobblank.com slash free. I give these scripts and uh, these contracts away for completely free, so don't make the mistake of using a wrong contract. Just go download mine for completely free at jacobblank.com slash free. There's a link in the description. Another mistake is that people get shiny object syndrome. There are so many people out on the internet telling you this is how you should get your first deal, this is what you should do, this is how you wholesale real estate, blah, 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 blah. There is so much noise out there. And I get it, right? Because I was in the same place. When I got started when I was 16 years old, I learned everything I could from YouTube. How many different YouTubers are there out there? I know I'm the best and I'm your favorite YouTuber, right? that is teaching wholesaling real estate, but there's a lot of other guys out there. So, you know, you need to try to dial in on one person that you're gonna listen to, one strategy that you're gonna do, and that's how you're gonna have the most success. You gotta block out the noise and focus in on one avenue. So that being said, I hope you wanna learn from me. On my YouTube channel, you know, if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I have hundreds of videos on my, on my channel that teach you for completely free how to get into wholesaling real estate. And I don't push you in a bunch of different directions. I dial you in on what you should be doing. So make sure you're watching my videos. Also, if you like the way that I teach, go to reiscalers.com. There's a link in the description for this as well. It's my learn how to wholesale program where I teach you from A to Z, step by step, how to get your first deal. And then from there on, scale to building a million dollar company. So if you wanna learn from me, if you wanna block out the noise and you wanna actually focus in on proven techniques that work that I use in my business, check out reiscalers.com. And that leads me to my second point of this mistake that I'm talking about right now is that people try so many different things and never focus on one marketing channel. They'll do some, some driving for dollars, some text blasts, some cold calling, some mailers, blah, 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 a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. You're never ever gonna get a deal that way. You need consistency in one marketing channel. That's what you need. So please focus in on one marketing channel Get consistent with it, stick with it for months, and you will have success. It took me eight months to get my first deal. And I tried a bunch of different things. If I just focused on cold calling, I would have had success. So cold calling marketing is my favorite marketing channel. If you want to have success, have less mistakes, chase after your first deal with cold calling marketing is highly approved by me. Other than that, those are pretty much the main mistakes that I can think of right now that, that you need to avoid when wholesaling real estate. Fortunately for me, right after I got my first wholesale deal, I invested in a mentor. I paid over $20,000 for wholesaling real estate mentorship, so that way I had guidance in the right direction, and so that way I would avoid mistakes. If you want the fast lane to success, I highly recommend that you pick somebody to learn from and invest in knowledge. That's how you will avoid mistakes, you'll take the fast lane to success, implement the right things, do the right things, and actually achieve results. Results is what you need, you need to be results driven, so if you want to learn from me, again, check out reiscalers.com for my Learn How to Wholesale program. I would love to be your mentor. I would love to be your teacher. But other than that, I hope this video was helpful to point you in the right direction and help you avoid things so that way you can have the most success. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. Also go down below, hit the red button, and subscribe to the channel. It helps me reach more people and impact more lives. So I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.